we can't get our shit together here with anti-doping control. Whereabouts? Look at look at this tweet by Anson Henry. Coleman, whereabouts violation? Nasser, whereabouts violation? Brianna Pinier, tampering. Shikari, weed. When are Chester's gonna actually catch people doing drugs? Because all the people were banning and, and suspending are for technicalities and oh you didn't do it right and rules are the rules. It's like Coleman, rules are the rules. You shouldn't have gone, you should have you should have remembered well, I think the, you should have stayed and not gone to Chipotle. All it's so stupid. I think the argument on the other side of that is you know, in order to maintain a vibrant anti doping program, like you have to be available for the whereabouts situations right otherwise doing all the tests is uh impossible and then it's it's difficult to catch people who are not following the rules uh i think you know the fact that she had a previous one-year suspension is probably i mean they haven't put out their full explanation but i'm guessing because kaz writes teasers basically they give you they give you 300 they give you 300 words and then they leave you on the edge of the seat waiting waiting for more uh, they should have like a Netflix show, I think. Um, I'd always refresh to the next episode if I was if I was watching the episode of Kaz. But I'm guessing what they're going to say is the first suspension had an impact on why the second suspension was so big, right? The fact that she already had the three missed tests violation, which I think most people, I don't actually, I don't want to speak for everybody, but the re the rationale and the reasoning behind those missed tests, a, a lot of them checked out. You know, one of them she was literally at the White House. Another one, she was in Miami for Brianna Rollins Day. <laughs> it's not it's not as if they didn't know where where she was. Again, you could say, hey, it's it's your responsibility to to update the app and she she had a punishment for that. But this five years missing two Olympics is is massive. And I think tampering, I agree with you. You think one thing when you hear the word tampering, but it's it's a umbrella term that has to deal with anything related to the the whereabouts system or basically any sort of doping control system like we've seen athletes provide you know false information for example too right like cha changing where you were saying you're one place when you're actually another place any part of that system um if you mess with it i think falls under that uh, that tampering um umbrella so yeah, it's a it's a tough time right now for for track and field. I think when you talk about all these together, and again, remind people each case is completely separate here. But you have the ones that you just listed between you know starting what Coleman feels like forever ago. Like we're we're forgetting that the guy who won the world title and is has the fastest had the fastest hundred. Uh, is out like we forgot about that almost because there's been that there's been Houlihan, there's been nasser mcneil and now richardson and again uh i mean that was when was that we did an episode with coleman that was yeah, less 2020. That was just, yeah well there's a little over a year ago but i mean if you yeah. figured you know 2020 was a wash in terms of competition that was just that was that was not not at all too long ago so th they're all all these are stacking one on top of the other on top of the other. And I know last year was the year of the whereabouts failure, not just in the United States, but, but everywhere. Um, but to see the impact it's having, obviously moving forward, um, folks are going to have to, I don't know, there needs to either be more education on, on this, um, or we're going to see this happen more and more, I believe. Yeah. I just think anti-doping needs to catch dopers, all right? Not rule violators. They need to be – it's not the anti – not doing the rule – anti-rule breaker association. It's the anti-doping, whatever they are. And I get it. You need to have rules in order it's in place to catch the dopers, but like – if most of it's like, you know, it's like the cop who is getting all the people with the speeding ticket trap. Yeah, technically you're hitting your quota of your speeding tickets, but are you really policing the streets by getting a bunch of speeding tickets? 
Are you really solving crime and helping the people? Or are you just getting people rolling through a red light and be like, boom, ticket, boom, ticket, boom, ticket. And I just feel like that's what they're doing. They're not actually catching the real crimes. They're catching the people who are rolling a red light or going 20 miles per hour over the speed limit. It's, mm-hmm. it's, it's, it's just a bummer. I'll, yeah. And to go back to, and Richardson, again, I want to separate Richardson's case from these other cases because whereabouts failures are not the same as a marijuana positive. Here's a tweet from Michael Johnson. I don't know why marijuana is banned. Maybe a good reason, maybe not. I know how it feels to lose a parent. Indescribable pain. I'm from the same neighborhood as Shakira Richardson. Tough place. I wish people would stop calling her and this band stupid unless you know the reason for both. No, I'm going to keep calling it stupid. It's stupid. The, the band, you're calling the band stupid. The band yeah. is stupid. The band is stupid. Sorry, MJ, but it's a stupid band. And we know it's stupid because we're literally going to see her compete two days later. And if she truly was a cheating athlete, you shouldn't let a cheating athlete all of a sudden compete two days later. Like, yeah. because she's not cheating. And they know that. They know she's not cheating. So they have to come up with a little dance around the situation and be like, oh, we're doing our job. Yay. And they get to hide behind it, not hide behind quotes and let Shikari be the one who has to be all sorrowful and be like, I'm so sorry I did this horrible crime. And the people who actually created, who categorized this as a horrible crime get to go off scot-free and not be held accountable. You should be held accountable for creating bad rules. But they don't have to be. And I think the only way they will be held accountable is if you need like a big rising of like other athletes to be like, no, we are not. We, you need you need governing bodies to be like, hey, USADA, we're not going to work with you unless you take this off of the ban list. Like, you need. I mean, that's uh, maybe that's what you got to do. Maybe you got to get all the governing bodies around in the, in the different sports to be like, hey, yeah, we're we're not going to follow this rule. So. Go for it. Test for weed again, but we're not going to ban them. We're not going to follow your rule. Oh, you're going to sanction us? Cool. Whatever. Have fun because then you'll sanction everyone. I don't know. Maybe you got to play power power arm or something like that. 